Oh, absolutely. Actually, here in Michigan back in 2018, our Senate passed a bill that was a banned on breeds, but that wasn't signed into law. So now you have these cities and townships like Gross Point Shores that are um, thinking about placing a ban on pit bulls. And it got pretty heated in last night's city council meeting. A, a pit bull uh, charged us. While walking their dog Maddie down a street in Gross Point Shores, Dana and Mike Owen tell 7 Action News they were attacked. It jumped. It caught me by the hand first and then it and then it jumped trying to get to yeah and then it jumped on and it grabbed her leg and pulled all three of us to the ground it took three minutes and multiple blows to the face and body for the pit bull to release its grip on the 14 year old cockapoo so this is she has three scars and this is where the, her leg was amputated the owens now pushing for a complete ban on the breed in their town with the topic being discussed in last night's gross point shore city council meeting Ken Welsh, a pit bull lover, one of the many public commenters against it. Sure, come here, come here. Let's come focus on. on tightening up some of the some of the laws and regulations about owning a dog. You know, to protect the public, if that's if that's the intent, and act on logic rather than emotion. Welsh believing it's an owner problem, not a breed. No decision was made last night, though the council did present sample ordinances and says a possible ban is still on the table. We appreciate everybody that's come here today, and I don't know where we're going to go with this down the road because we're just beginning this process. But we can't ignore facts of stated history of injury. So what happened to the pit bull in this story? Well, the Owens told us that the pit bull was not removed from the home, which is only adding to their frustration. Uh, some of the possible issues with this ban is what will happen to the pit bulls that are already living in this community. Those are some of the questions that were raised last night. So we'll continue to follow this story and see where it leads. Live in Gross Point Shores, I'm Kier. Hey, Seven Action News. Absolutely. We've seen these kind of debates again in many other cities. We'll see what happens in this one. Thank you, Kira.